Hello friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem based on calculation of shear stress and compressive stress for a plate in which a hole is punched. Here we have a question. A force of 31.68 kN is required to punch a circular hole of 14 mm diameter in a metal plate 2 mm thick. Calculate shear stress and compressive stress developed in the punching rod. So here is the question we have. Now whatever is given here, let me write that in the form of data first. It is given that a force of 31.68 kN, since it is given in terms of kN, I can even write it in the form of Newton, is required to punch a circular hole of 14 mm diameter in a metal plate 2 mm thick. Calculate shear stress and compressive stress developed in the punching rod. Shear stress is tau. Compressive stress is denoted by sigma suffix C. So these are the two values which we have to calculate. Let us try to get the solution for this problem. In the solution part, again I will explain it with the help of a diagram. Here we have this plate which is made up of metal inside which a hole has been punched. Here we have a punch and this is a metal plate inside which we are producing a hole this plate has a thickness of 2 mm it is given and here we want to produce a hole of diameter 14 so even this punch diameter will be of 14 mm Next, here the questions are, we want to calculate how much is the shear stress and compressive stress developed in the punching rod. So for that purpose, first I will calculate the value of shearing area and resisting area in compression. So the first thing which I will write down here is, since shearing area is given by, I will write it down as A suffix S, it is equal to, shearing area is nothing but this circumferential area which is the circumference pi d multiplied by the thickness of the plate, so it is pi d into t, so here we have the shearing area as pi d is 14, t is 2. So this shearing area value comes out to be 87.96 mm square. Now after getting the shearing area, I have to find out how much is the area which is compressed. So for that, I will write down since cross section area of punch that is a suffix c is equal to pi by 4 into d square. Here I am getting the cross section area of the punch because this punch would be subjected to compression. So the area is the cross sectional area and therefore this is pi by 4 into 14 square which comes out to be 153 point 94 mm square 
so after getting the shearing area and the area which is subjected to compression now we can go for the calculation of respective stresses so first i'll write down since shearing stress in the punch is given by shear stress is tau is equal to force into shearing area so therefore shear stress is the shear force it is given in the problem force value is 31.68 into 10 raised to 3 newton shearing area we have calculated it is a suffix is 87.96 so if i multiply these two values my answer comes out to be 360 360.16 newton per mm square so this will be the first answer next after finding the shearing stress we have to calculate the compressive stress on the punch so therefore compressive stress in the punch is given by compressive stress is sigma suffix c and that is equal to force into cross sectional area so therefore sigma suffix c is equal to force is 31.68 into 10 raised to 3 cross sectional area we have calculated it was 153.94 Newton per mm square. So, sigma c value this comes out to be 205.80 Newton per mm square. This is the second answer. So, if we look into this problem, they were telling us to calculate two, thing, two, two things. First, to calculate the shear stress induced in the punch. Next, compressive stress and we had understood the meaning of it by drawing a diagram and finally we have calculated the values of shear stress and compressive stress induced in the punch when a hole is punched in a metal plate and with this we complete the problem.